ordered from the doctor after Cody's surgery? Yeah, everything went fine, and you know we just got to hope that um, he comes back sooner than later. You know, and and I talked I think this morning his you know he came back from the ACL probably two three months faster than anyone else has ever done and um, but the, you know bones are different I guess than than tendons and ligaments and all that stuff so we'll just uh, you know hope hope for him and you know got to wait a few days before he can do anything but you know just uh, for the surgery to kind of settle you know everything his body to get back and then get him you know working out trying to stay in shape best he can and hope that uh, you know he's able to give us something at the end of the year. Is it shooting hand? Or not? Yeah, it was his shooting hand, yeah, which makes it worse. That was a you know because if it wasn't a shooting hand, you might be able to kind of figure something out maybe a little earlier, but it is. Which finger was it? I don't even know. Don't even know. Yeah. They said on the broadcast that it was right ring fingers. So. Uh, it might be. Yeah. Oh, it's it might be his ring right finger, ring. but on his yeah, okay. on his it's just shooting in. Yeah. First, what's led to the offensive balance? You had five double figures for the last two games before. Yeah. That. So what's created that? Well, I think passing has been. But if you look at even early in the year when when everyone was there, we had pretty good balance with. I mean, Tom always has those stats. When we have four guys double figures, usually we're pretty successful. And, um, you know, that's been, uh, you know, the case from the beginning. But I, I think they've really, you know, the passing is some, is, is better. And uh, just making that extra pass, getting in the paint, uh, seeing things, um, you know, coming in and watching film, understanding what teams give you, uh, pushing the ball a little more, getting some easy ones. I, I think all that kind of has added up. Key has been oh, there's no doubt. I mean, it. You know, it, it, and we haven't been the best off offensive juggernaut all year. And and but this last stretch, we've been, you know, we we've been pretty solid with you know uh, shooting the ball better. We you know assist per field goal. You know, a lot of those stats that uh, add up to being a little better offensively. Bruce, it's been rare that uh, that K State team has won four straight against top 25 opponents, and that's what you guys have done. How special has this group been in responding to the big games? Well, I, I you know, I, I just think they're, we got an older group, they're great kids, they bought in, they want to do well. Um, you know, we we had to go through some growing pains, we had to go through some adversity, some injuries, and, and now it, it seems like they're really right now on the same page and focus now we got to keep them on that page and and not let them you know get distracted and and you know who knows what could happen with that i i think maybe cardi's injury actually maybe helped us get ready for texas because now you you know we like everyone had to man up and step up now you know we'll we'll see how they are saturday hope you know i hope that uh you know, they, they they know the importance of the game and that anyone can beat anybody on any given day. It, it's, um, you know, just whether it's TCU last week against Iowa State, you, you know, everyone talks about Hilton Magic and there was no magic that day. So, it, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. The, the, you know, the one team that has been consistent at home, obviously, is Kansas. And, um, you know, but, uh, you know, we got to keep – you know, home court, protect home court, you be ready to play. Uh, they've, you know, they've, they've, uh, you know, it, it, it's, I don't, we don't really, we talk about big games, but we don't say like they're top 25 or this or that. I mean, they probably know it, but, you know, just preparing for the game. I think that's, I always talk about Coach Snyder. It's one, one thing I've kind of learned, prepare for the game. Don't worry about all the noise or whatever's going around. Prepare for the game and how can you beat them. And that's, I think our guys have gotten better and better at that. Do those top 25 wins from a national perspective, and you've been around this before, add validity to the journey you guys have been on this season? I, I hope so. I hope it, you know, the, you know, in, in the long run, you, you want to get an NCAA turn, you know, you want to win the league. You want to get an NCAA tournament. If you get an NCAA tournament, obviously it helps to have a better seed. Um, you know, I think, you know, it, it, then we proved last year and there's lots of other teams. It doesn't always mean anything to have better seed, but you know, it's, it's, it's a positive thing. But, and again, I haven't even brought that up. I'll be honest, you know, since last spring, you know, we talked about it then, but um, right now, it's just hey, get you know, get ready. Come with a big heart on on Saturday. Play your butt off. If you uh, rewind time all the way back to when you're down 21 to West Virginia, 
somebody would have said, hey, coach, don't worry, they'll win their next nine. Uh, what would your reaction be? I just, you know, I'd be totally shocked, to be honest. And, and you know, I didn't think we'd win that game, you know, for and you got to give Barry and Mike McGurl and the whole group, you know, a lot of credit for – you know, come into play that second half, fighting it out, and it gave us a little boost of energy. And then you get Dean back, and you know, this it, you know things just kind of fell in place. And uh, but uh, yeah, we we still we still got to keep getting better. And it's it's not. It, hopefully, they understand it's not anywhere done. If we're done, then we're in trouble. But we got to keep keep improving and taking step by step. Along those same lines, you've got I mean, you've got a mature group, so I'm sure that helps, but. Is it kind of starting to get to the point where these guys are realizing that winning the Big 12 is, is going to – it's a really attainable goal and it's possible? To- well, it's possible, but, I mean, it's possible for everyone right behind us too. If you look, there's four teams, right, tied for second, so – or right there. So, it you know, anyone's – it's – one year at Purdue, we were down uh, – Michigan had the uh, – Fab five or four, I think maybe Weber had lost. We were down two games to them with three games left, and we won the league outright. So, I, you know, you just never know. It, it's All we can worry about is Saturday. If you take another step Saturday, boop, get on the plane, get ready for West Virginia, take another step then. And then we get down to that last game, and we're, you know, it might really mean something. But right now we got to worry about winning. Right. Season, it seems like every, every team is dealt with. Uh, some adversity and injuries or other things, and you guys have kind of been able to to navigate your well, way through it, where some of the other teams may have faltered a little bit. Yeah. That, how much do you attribute that to the experience of this team and just kind of? I think the experience and going through it last year mm-hmm. and being able to, you know, really it, it last two years you had Cam. You know, back-to-back years, you had Dean last year, you had, you know, and then all the different situations this year. So I think, it, you know, it all, all those experiences, if you use life experiences to a positive, you know, you take a negative and make it a positive, it, it's going to help you. And, you know, that we, we talk about that all the time. You, you know, you, you can't control everything in life, but you can control what you, the next morning, what you do, your attitude, and, and how you're going to face the, your situation. And they seem to be pretty good about it. Barry's had uh, over 20 points against Iowa State each of the last four times you played him. Has he kind of had the, their number? Well, I think a lot of times it's how people guard, and, and you know, it's um, each team guards a little different. So I, I don't know if that's a factor, but, uh, you know, they some people, people really protect the paint, and that – that's you know Barry lives off of getting to the paint and making plays and and they're I'm not they're good defensively still they held us to whatever we won 50 we had 58 at their place and they've done pretty well up until that TCU game defensively so um, you know he maybe that's one thing I don't know I'm not sure exactly I'd, uh, you know I think a lot of it good ball movement and how when we seem to move people we were able to get stuff the zone, busting that out, seemed to be pretty successful. Is that something you'd be willing to go to some more down the stretch run? Uh, you know, it's it. You know, we've we've talked about it, and then you kick yourself in the butt some games. You know, try it, and um, you know, the first time we went first half because those two had two fouls, and we didn't want to. You know, and he still could have fouled at the zone or take it. You know, Barry going in charge or something, but you know, we just didn't want to get too big a separation, so we took the chance, and and then uh, second half we just thought. You know, mix it up. They were getting to the paint on us so easily. And uh, we want, you know, why do you play zone? Protect the paint. Um, you know, so it was, a, you know, it was it was a good move then. And, you know, next time it, they might go boom, boom, swing, swing, two threes. And, you know, but uh, it, it gives, it, you know, hopefully it gives the guys a little confidence when we play it. How can you just keep it? Keep the peace in your favor against Iowa State? Yeah, there's no doubt. They want to run. They want it up and down. You know, we got to. You know, I'm not saying walk it up and, you know, we still, we're good when we push it too, but we got to, we, you know, I think a lot of it, we got to be smart about, you take quick launch shots, they get transition. They do a great job of passing the ball and and moving that ball. When they do that, they're really good. You talked about your transition, your transition game, and Scott Drew complimented you on it from Saturday's game. 
how key is it to Ben to find your spots? Yeah, just, you know, one, give it up early. We got guys that can make plays, um, you know, get ahead of the group. I, I think early in the season we dribbled too much and, you know, we were going to go make the play for ourselves instead of getting it up, then getting in the paint, now getting defenses before they're set up. I think that's a big key. And then, you, you know, if Mac and Dean are both threats inside, if you get it ahead and one of them's there, now you maybe get a mismatch, you get maybe some easy points in the paint. It struck me that both Baylor and Texas gave maybe a little bit more effort than some other teams you played this season. I'm just wondering if maybe that was an, you saw a rise in intensity with people trying to beat number one in the conference. Well, I think if you watch Baylor, they play like that all the time. I mean, I told you guys after, we that was the first thing we showed on. They're as physical as any team in the league, and they play as hard as anyone. And Scott's done a great job with them. I think Texas has the ability to do it, and they, you know, they, um, you know, again, their backs are to the wall. We, we, you know, they needed that win. They needed another huge win. They, they're fighting, you know. So, uh, and that's, you know, that's every game is going to be like that down the stretch. But we have something to play for too. So, hopefully, we're we're, we're able to match that challenge. Larry hasn't scored 20 points in the last seven games, but what is the luxury in knowing that you haven't had to rely on him and the luxury well, I, that you know that he can take it over? Well, I think the big key is, he, and it's part of our success, is Barry's taking what they're giving him now. And, you know, what Baylor six assists, um, I think it was that game he had six, but he's had assists. He's, you know, he's driving, he's getting in the paint, making the next play, not – you know, not forcing the action. People are, you know, he's the leading scorer. He's one of the leading scorers in the league, so they're gearing toward him. Now, you know, he's, and we know at the end of the game, we got it. He's the guy we want the ball in his hands and let him make plays. So uh, every every game's a little different, and that our guys have learned that and adjusted to it, and uh, hopefully that will continue. The West Virginia game, the comeback got you started on this thing, but then you went to Iowa State and won, which was kind of a maybe – more of a signature win. Did you feel like that? How important did you feel like that was for your confidence? Going? Oh, there's no, you know, they were playing as well as anybody. They were whatever, top 20 at that time, I think. I'm not even sure, but, uh, uh, you know, they, it, you know, to get a road win against the top 20 team in a place where they just beat Kansas by 20 the week before or 16, whatever it was. So, you know, that was, uh, that was a, you know, a huge game for us. And the way we, you know, we had a great start. They took the lead over, and then we had the great finish to find a way to win. So it's, uh, you know, and you got Barry two game winners in one week. So it was, it was a, it was a positive step. With Sean, what's maybe the main thing you stress with him moving forward? Let the game come. You know, he wants to. He doesn't have to make plays. Let it come. You know, find your role, find a niche, help us. He, he. I mean, the pass he made to Dean. No one else on our team can make that pass. You know, for that dunk. And and you know, he has the ability, but he's got it. I. I text with him yesterday just talk about how important he is and don't wait for next year be part of something special you can help us um you know but he's just got to figure out what he needs to do he, he doesn't have to do too much just be be solid I, I know the way the season played out kind of dictated some of this but is there any looking back on it saying oh, i wish we could have played him a little more early? well i think all the guys on the bench i wish we would have won some of those games early by a bigger margin that was the sad part uh, you know to be honest and um you know, but but we didn't do it, so you know that that didn't allow Nigel, Sean, some of those guys to get those extra minutes, and uh, you know, but you know, it just it is what it is, and uh, you know, he Mike McGurl didn't play almost at all last year and came and played unbelievable. So, but he he's got to learn. You know, it's part of the maturation growing up as a player. He's got to become a student of game. He. You just can't go play the game. College basketball is hard. I was sitting recruiting last night with some college guys, and that's all they—that's all we were talking about. Kids don't understand how hard it is. And then when you're in our league against ten of the best teams in the country, and game in and game out, it's really hard. So it's—it's, it's, you know, figure that out sooner than later. It helps. We had Levi in here uh, talking to him. He had 14 minutes against KU. He's had his moments this season. How would you evaluate how his men work? He's just got to get a motor going and have it every game and, and have balance and finish plays when, you know, because he's smart. He knows how to play. Obviously, he's limited athletic. He's not going to go up and do a, a Cardi 3 windmill 360, but but he can do the, all the little things. And But he's just got to finish stuff, and he's got to not foul. You know, that's the, that's the whole thing. But we need him. We need him. There's no doubt.
it was great. Max stepped up, but you know, there's obviously um, you get foul trouble, whatever it might be. You you need him. Mac was able to stay out of foul trouble against a good Texas. Yeah. Sport. How, how did that, is that a trend? I think some of it is just being ready to play and, you know, being on his toes, being aggressive early, feeling good about himself, um, you know, coming with a motor. That's why I've kind of got after him and just said, we need you, bud. This is, this, is, this is your chance to really shine and make a push here. With the score of balance you've seen lately and some other contributions in other areas, do you feel like your guys understand their roles as well as they have? I think they've yes. I don't think there's any doubt. And that was what he asked earlier. That that's been the of how we've evolved as a team. It took a while, it took some different things, but uh, but it, it's it's really it it has kind of become nice. And that you know it's what we had hoped early, but and hopefully it'll continue as as we go. With some of the second half surges you guys have had in these past couple of games, I know there's halftime adjustments all the time. Do, do you see those click more now that you have older guys? Oh, they, you know, older guys make you good coaches, you know, because you can tell them things and they go do it. And the other guys might not even listen. They might not know what you're saying. It's just they've been through it. And, uh, you know, it, it, it makes it much easier. There's no doubt. And then they go execute under pressure, you know, and that, that's, a, that's a big key. You guys a little healthier as far as the sickness goes at this point? I, you know, we still, uh, we got one with, if there is such a thing, walking pneumonia. We got another one with bronchitis. We got, today, I, we're just trying to piece Coach Corn and Chester. Then we even got Shane back a little bit. They they got to have to practice if we're going to get anything done. Was there a team vote for Lavenders against Oklahoma State, or how that work? I have no idea. Is that what they announced? Yeah. We, I, this, it was picked a lot. Or I think it was picked a long time ago. And we get on where it once, yeah, and I think they just they had something planned for each game or whatever, and that was what they decided.